Hello everybody and Happy New Year. I hope you got to rest and relax over the holidays and that you are feeling recharged for the exciting opportunities that await us in 2021. I had a great break. I got lots of sleep, good food and drink, and some amazing walks and hikes. So I'm very ready to be back on campus and back to work. Now, last January, we were looking forward to celebrating our 25th anniversary and launching our new vision. And then, within a couple of months, our world was turned entirely upside down by COVID. So you never know what lies ahead. For instance, who would have thought we would witness the storming of the US Capitol building and an attempted insurrection on January 6th? But I remain an optimist and I believe that this is going to be a fantastic year for our community and a better year across the globe. Just take a look at what's going on. While the pandemic continues, we are, through our collective efforts, bending the curve of the second wave in British Columbia. At the same time, the vaccination campaign is rolling out steadily across the country with an initial focus on the most vulnerable. And on January 20th, there will be a new president and vice president in the United States and the hope of greater unity and stability in the months and the years ahead. We've also got a lot to look forward to here at Royal Roads. We are seeing near record enrollments of domestic students, and I am sure our numbers of international students will begin to rebound as restrictions are lifted. I'm confident too that we will be able to resume in-person programs and on-campus residencies, hopefully later in the spring and the summer. We will also launch some great new programs this year, including MAs in Climate Action, Executive Leadership, and Executive and Organizational Coaching, just to mention a few. I know as well that our researchers will continue to do us proud with groundbreaking work, which will positively impact communities near and far. We look forward as well to implementing the goals and actions identified in our new vision, including ambitious commitments to climate action, reconciliation, anti-racism, and digital transformation. We are also just weeks away from opening our beautiful new learning and teaching auditorium, which, by the way, needs a better name. As well, I'm very excited about what we will be able to do this year with donor support to enhance our beautiful gardens. I also think this is the year we should start growing food on campus and taking better advantage of our spectacular natural setting. And notwithstanding the delay, we will also reboot our 25th anniversary with some great presentations planned. As we move ahead though, we will certainly take the time to reflect on our experience over the past year, the lessons learned, and continue with some of the positive changes we saw, like less travel and more flexible work arrangements. We will also not forget the inequities and the injustices that this crisis graphically revealed and our responsibility to tackle them. On that note, today is the anniversary of Dr. Martin Luther King's birthday and I am reminded of his powerful words. No, no, we are not satisfied and we will not be satisfied until justice rolls down like waters and righteousness like a mighty stream. What a powerful image and what an inspiring message. At Royal Roads, we will not be satisfied with the status quo. As a community, we were determined not only to survive this crisis, but to thrive and transform the way we teach, research, operate, and engage. And that's exactly what we will do. I look forward to your support as we embrace the challenges and opportunities in front of us. And I look forward to seeing all of you on campus soon. Do take care.